Hey what's up gamers, we all have that burnout when we make content and sometimes playing competitive video games can really dampen our fighting spirit. It's crucial that you know how to deal with these kinds of burnouts. Being as a gamer, you can counteract these conditions by playing other video games as well. Today let's talk about games that will relax your fighting spirit and also rejuvenate that vitality that you have for making content. But before we do guys, you know what to do? Like, subscribe, and gong that bell. Hey gamers from all around the internet, my name is Nold and welcome to MGN. On today's episode of Games on Q, we all know that burnout arrives for everyone, even me. And as a gamer, I still play video games that will help me counteract this kind of condition. So today guys, let's talk about those video games that I've been playing and also other video games that I haven't played on this episode of Games on Q. So without further ado guys, Games on Q. Number one game is Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Skyrim is a vast game with multiple quests, stories, loot, equipment, monsters, places, voice roda, and other things. When you delve into this game, it will let your worries go away as you will be a strong dragonborn who plays a lot of roles, a lot of power, and a lot of time. You will be able to put yourself into the shoes of one of the strongest people in the world. You can do a lot of things here in the game, like go around slaying a lot of people if that's your thing, listening to the I took an arrow to the knee joke or story, kill monsters, cave diving, hunt those dragons, ride your magical pony or your horse, become a werewolf, and other things. There's a lot of things you can do in this game to take your mind off of your burnout and energize your batteries again. What are you waiting for guys? Go ahead and play that game. Fusroda! Number 2 is Minecraft. Minecraft is a place full of splendors. Especially now, people can play with other players with different platforms. So the game style is very immersive and with the cross-platforming, there are thousands to millions of people playing the game. In this game, the saying the sky is the limit is actually true. You can create a lot of buildings and a world that you want. It's gonna take time though because you have to farm those materials. The bricks, mason walls, wood, steel, and a lot of other materials. You will need to mix and match some of them so that you can create another material. It will take you literally tons of hours just to construct those materials. If this suits you, it's the best way for you to dampen down your burnout and just relax and enjoy the bliss of just creating things out of thin air. No, not really out of thin air, but maybe bricks. <laughs> Number 3 is The Legend of Zelda The Breath of the Wild. This game actually won the Game of the Year on the 21st DICE Awards which will make you know that you will get your money's worth when you buy this game. I haven't played this game though, but it looks really, really good. The graphics are pretty defined and you can gawk on it to your heart's content. The game looks like one big cinematic that can really take your time. You can fight people, do your quests, explore, uncover other locations, tame the wildlands, hunt for good equipment and material, look for Koroks and other things. You will need to invest time on this game, but it will be worth it as it can release those stress games or burnouts from your shoulders. Number 4 is Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley can take away your blunders in life with just by strolling around and collecting your fresh crops. It's a game where you will not think about anything in the world. You just give your crops the love and care they deserve. And also maybe have a friendly conversation from time to time with your neighbors. And that's it. It's a game where it takes you from the hustle and bustle of your games to a world where you are surrounded by luscious greenery with fresh crops, the smell of strawberries and lilacs. If you need a break from the pressure in either your competitive games, burnout, or from real life problems, Stardew Valley can be your savior and your pal. Go tend to that farm now. Number 5 is World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is like Skyrim but this MMORPG game is the real OG. It's one of the first games that people can play together. In Azeroth, a lot of things has happened and it still continues to flourish. If you just want to hang out with your friends, do some quests, kill some enemies, farm some materials, and maybe do dungeon raids, you should definitely play this game. Number 6 is the Fallout series. Welcome to a land after a nuclear explosion. In the land of Fallout, there are a lot of horrifying, nostalgic, and jaw-dropping sceneries in the game. If you like these kinds of worlds where you go into untamed, familiar lands and find places where all manner of creatures lurk, this is the game for you. You will be scavenging for lost relics, trash, I mean literally trash, bottle caps, and other scraps that will help you live out your life in this dystopian world. It's a game where you can invest a lot of time and take your mind off of your day-to-day -day problems 
burnouts, or other pressures. Number 7 is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. This game kinda takes the cake. You have the power of someone like a god, and you have the power to build your forces, your naval power, and the likes. The map is so expansive that just by exploring them will take a lot of hours. There's a lot of underground caverns you can spelunk to, open seas to sail to, underwater diving with the whales if you want, you can slay enemies and Spartan kick them off high cliffs. There's a lot of things you can do in this game that will literally take your time and your problems away. You wanna know why? It's because you will be thinking about your character, your ship, your mercenaries, and the other needs of your godlike character. So what are you waiting for guys? Go Spartan kick those enemies. Number 8 is Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt. This game also won the Game of the Year award where you are put in the shoes of Geralt of Rivia. You are in a setting where a war is happening and you are looking for your ward, Ciri. Ciri is being pursued by the Wild Hunt because she's really, really pretty. Anyway, you dive into this world where you as a witcher can pick up contracts, kill other worldly creatures, make love with sorcerers, yes, make love, play Gwent, craft potions, armors, weapons, look for buried treasure, and a lot, a lot more. You can even just get your horse Roach and just race until your heart's content. Or if you want, you can awaken the inner pugilist inside of you, then you can find a lot of fighting ranks in the cities and villages. This game is a must pick if you guys have the time. Pick up this game and play the game to take your mind off of mundane stress and let that burnout just fade away from your shoulders as you carry that witcher sword and thrust it to a specter's face. And that's the episode gamers, what games resonate with you the most? Let us know down below. Do you know a friend who kind of lost their luster to make video game content or just maybe play video games? Well you can share this video to them so that this will serve as their first therapy training to get that feeling of stress out of their bodies. Don't forget guys we have free assets for you, these assets are based off of the game games Fortnite and of course Apex Legend. If you use these assets, it can potentially help you out with your channel. Before you leave guys, smash that like, gong that bell, and smash down on the subscribe button. My name is Nold Guys, and anything you need to know about video games, always remember, games on cue. See you on the next episode. Goodbye!